In this problem, we need to find the equivalent force system that can be used to replace an existing force system. The existing force system consists of four, four, four forces. One, two, three, four. And we need to find a replacement force system. The replacement force system can only consist of one force but it is not allowed to have a, a couple moment and we don't know where the uh, replacement force system should be applied but there's a constraint the constraint is that uh, the f replacement force must be applied along the line segment of AB so somewhere along this line segment AB should be that force since we don't know the magnitude of that force and we don't know the direction of the force we can assume that uh, the force is uh, we can resolve the force into two directions one so this is essentially a question of uh, finding two equivalent force force systems and we know two equi two equivalent force system must satisfy this requirement namely the replacement force the resultant uh, the resultant of the uh, the resultant force of the replacement force system must be equal to the resultant force of the existing force system and uh, the moment of the replacement force system must be equal to the moment of uh, the existing force system that's measured about any reference point since we don't know uh, where the force is applied, where the, the replacement force is applied, we also don't know uh, its magnitude and the uh, direction. But we know that uh, the, the replacement force must be applied along the line segment of AB. Since we don't know the magnitude and we don't know the direction, we can assume that we have uh, a we know uh, we we write the force in terms of its x component and its y component okay and then we define the x y coordinate system as such and we don't know the location of this force so we define the location of the force by defining its distance from uh, the point of application from the point A. So we define this distance as x. We call this, um, okay, since x is already used for something else, let's call this, let's call this A. Okay, so if we know A, the distance, then we can specifically locate the force that's to be used to replace the force, four force system. All right, to satisfy the two requirements, we can write the scalar format of the equation. The scalar format of the, format of the equation is essentially three equations. Uh, for the force equation, we have two components. One is Fx, which is the resultant force of the replacement force system in the x direction. This must be equal to the uh, resultant force of the ex existing force system in the x direction. Okay, and this is F uh, X existing, which is we can replace this with uh, specific values: um, point seven five kilonewton times. We can find out that uh, the X component of the point seven five kilonewton force should be sine 30 degrees and uh, the 1.5 kilonewton force sine 30 degrees and uh, the 1.375 kilonewton times sine 30 degrees the 1 kilonewton force has a zero component in the x direction now in a y direction, the replacement force Fy 
uh, its component, uh, the resultant force, the replacement force x y component, is f y, and it should be equal to 0.75 times cosine 30 degrees plus 1.5 kilonewton times cosine 30 degrees and 1.375 kilonewton times cosine 30 degrees plus this one kilonewton force. Um, on the other hand, the moment equation requires that uh, the, re the replacement force system, uh, its moment about any point should be equal to the moment of the e existing force system about at the same point. So here we um, use the uh, w point A as the reference point. So essentially we have a M resultant force A should be equal to the moment of uh, the existing force system about the same point. And we can write this equation in terms of um, this. Okay, let's erase this equation and write the specific equations. Now the uh, fx and the fy both have a uh, non-zero uh, contribution to the moment about point A. And if we define clockwise as positive, both components, fx and fy, have a positive uh, or, uh, or clockwise moment about point A. So fx has a moment arm of uh, A times sine 30 degrees. That's the moment due to fx. The component fy has a moment arm of um, A cosine 30 degrees. Okay. So that's the moment of uh, the replacement force system, fx and fy, about reference point, point A. This should be equal to the moment of the existing force f system about the same point. So the point seven, uh, the point seven five kilonewton force has a zero moment arm about point A, and uh, one point five kilonewton force has a one meter moment arm about point A. The one point three seven five kilonewton force has a okay this force has a uh, uh, a moment arm of uh, two meters okay the uh, one kilonewton force has a moment arm of uh, three meters times cosine 30 degrees all right, so now we have the equations. We have a equation, a linear algebraic equation system. Um, let's check, see if we have a complete equation. Uh, let's count the unknowns. So this is an unknown. Um, I'm going to use a number to name the unknowns. So that's unknown number one. This is another unknown. This is the same number unknown number one. And we have no uh, uh, oh no number two, F Y. We also have another unknown. Oh that's A, the distance uh, of that point, point of application. It's an unknown oh number three. Okay, so we have uh, three unknowns, and uh, we have three linear algebra equations. Now from our math knowledge, we know that if we have uh, the same number of unknowns as we have uh, equations, then we have a uh, solvable linear algebraic equation. So in, in theory, technically, we can solve these three equations and uh, get the unknowns. The, these three equations are quite easy to, to, to solve. Um, I'm going to leave the solution of the equation to you. Uh, and also, as you have learned about my grading rubric, if you come 
uh, all the way to this point, you would have earned about 90% of uh, the full points for this problem. Now, solving the equation, we'll find out that fx is equal to 0.5 kilonewton and fy is equal to 4.49 kilonewton. Okay, so we can redraw this uh, force. So this is uh, fx, this is fy and uh, the resultant force fr this re replacement force if it forms a angle uh, of theta with the vertical direction we can actually find uh, the theta angle by using the uh, inverse tangent of uh, 0 0.5 over 4.49 and we see this is equal to 6.35 degrees. We can also find that uh, the distance A is equal to 1.52 meters. Okay, so this distance is 1.52 meters.